Okay, so I put up a little question box on Instagram last week and I was asking people what their thoughts were on peptides and why we would want to use them or potentially use them for um, healing and for regeneration. And there's quite a bit of debate, so I wanna just jump on here and just kind of share my own thoughts on um, some peptides that I personally used, some peptides that Logan is currently using to help himself and what I recommend to my patients um, or just what information I share with them and help them make better decisions for themselves and their healthcare. So I am a doctor of physical therapy, if you're not familiar with me, and I work with orthopedic and sports related injuries. My husband had a stroke about eight months ago now. And so we've been trying to go through the whole process of recovery and doing everything we can to make sure we're maximizing his recovery and getting him back to 100% as quickly as possible. So two peptides that I personally use after I re-ruptured my Achilles. So remember back in um, 2021, I ruptured my Achilles. About 14 weeks later, I re-ruptured my Achilles. I started using TB500 and BPC157 to help regenerate and to improve inflammation. So I had a ton of inflammation that was kind of hindering my progress. I started using the BPC157 for that, which has been really shown to improve like systemic inflammation everywhere. Um, but obviously if you're injecting it, it's also improving that local area inflammation. And they do have capsules of that at this time. They didn't use to back then, but that would be more for somebody that has just systemic inflammation. I definitely recommend more the injectables if you're having that localized inflammation response. Um, then TB500, is that the, that's the other peptide that I used and combined with the BPC-157. And, and then that's been shown to help remodel, regenerate, and uh, improve tissue repair. And so I definitely wanted to combine both of those. I knew that it was still very much like highly skeptical at that point. There's not been a lot of uh, human trials for one reason or another, but there's been enough research in other trials and a lot of just really good scientific research to show how effective they could potentially be. And there doesn't seem to be any downsides. So that's why I was willing to try it on myself. And I can tell you that that was absolutely a big part of how I was able to recover fully without needing that second surgery and without needing to go through like PRP or stem cells or anything like that. Now the TB500, that is only in injectable form. So there's no capsules of that at this point. And if you're looking into getting some of these peptides, make sure that you're getting like pharmaceutical grade, make sure you're going to a naturopathic doctor, making sure to know what kind of dosage to get, because if you, you can mess up, right? Obviously like you shouldn't be self treating and self managing these things. Make sure that you have guidance of a professional to make sure these are even right for you. Now, some of the cool things that I have found recently, now that kind of, it's been several years since I ruptured my Achilles, obviously my husband, when he had his stroke, we've been trying to do as much as we can to improve his recovery and his life and get his function back to 100% as soon as possible. So we started um, going to a naturopathic doctor about a month ago and he's on cerebrolysin, I think I'm saying that right, and he's on BPC-157. So the BPC-157, he's having a lot of like digestive issues, some gut stuff, and so that helps. He's in the capsules, he's using the capsule form, so he's um, able to get that inflammation down and he's feeling a lot better. And obviously, if you have too much chronic inflammation, that's gonna hinder your progress and your recovery. Now the cerebrolysin or lysine, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but that one is um, has neuroprotective properties. It's been really shown to be effective for those that have like Alzheimer's, dementia, stuff like that. I think it's derived from a pig's brain. I've been looking into it and it's, um, it just has all these protective, amazing qualities that seem to, once again, not hinder any sort of progress, but only could be beneficial. And obviously since he had a stroke, we want to improve obviously the neuro pathways and to regenerate some of that stuff. And so this helps to break down proteins. Um, and that can be why maybe he's not being as optimal right now in his stroke recovery. So we are just going by the guidance of our naturopathic doctor. And we have been implementing that with the BPC-157, both injectable or not. So capsules for the BPC and then um, the injection for the cerebralizin. Now, what I recommend for my patients is to look into these two things. Obviously, like there are a million other peptides available and they could all be beneficial. So you gotta figure out what's the root cause of what's going on and what's gonna be helpful, um, even from a wound healing perspective. So like the, the BPC-157, I think it's called the body protective compound, which 
I think that should kind of tell you everything you need to know. It seems to be incredibly helpful for a lot of different things. Um, even athletes are using it to improve their strength and their endurance and their performance. Caveat there is I do think that these are banned substances or, um, for, and they can test for them. So if you're a professional athlete, I'm not recommending you using these. I'm just giving you information, right? So um, that's my job is to be able to give my patients as much information as I can so they can make better decisions for themselves. And obviously I can't prescribe this at all. And I know you can find it online, but I'd be very weary of those internet sources. So make sure you're getting it from like a compounding pharmacy or some place that you actually know that you're getting what you think you're getting. Okay, last thing I want to say is I think the TB500 has now been recently um, found to have anti-aging properties. Um, so it can, I don't know if it's reversing the effects of aging, but slowing down maybe the effects of aging. And I think that's um, as our population con continues to age, as we get older as a whole, I think that this is this is awesome because we're all going to get older at some point. So if we can slow that process down, there's no downsides. Um, who knows? Maybe this will be available for everyone soon um, and maybe be way more financially available too. So um, they're pretty pricey depending on like where you're getting your sources. And once again, if you're going to a reliable source, it could be more expensive. So just keep that in mind. Um, so for ortho conditions, I think I recommend TB500 and BPC157. And then obviously for the neuro health stuff, there's a ton that you can look into, but the, the cerebralizing is the one that Logan is using right now. So hopefully this clears up a lot of information or a lot of questions. I'm sure you guys are just gonna ask a ton more, but for, from my perspective, hopefully I've given you at least a little bit of information so you can start doing some more research yourself. All right, have a good day.